This is how to become an AI engineer, a role that's growing exponentially day by day. And in this video, I'm going to give you a complete roadmap for how to become an AI engineer and get you up and ready as fast as possible. At my company, I'm always working with AI engineers and have been in this industry way before AI became so popular. I've built AI solutions in many industries, such as banking and insurance. And today I'm going to share with you a complete roadmap that is going to help you become an AI engineer. And you're going to be able to use this as a study plan and learn at your own pace. It might take you a month or it may take you a lot more. Everything depends on your existing experience and how comfortable you are with the tools that we'll be going through. But using this as a study plan is going to get you up there. And I'm not going to say that it's easy because everybody will start or is already learning this. But the sooner that you can do it, the better it's going to be. Because nowadays everything in tech is getting crowded by average engineers. So it's up to you to put in a little bit more effort so that you can stand out in this market. We know that AI is an evolving field and it combines software engineering, it combines data science, cloud services, AI technologies, large language models and a lot more. And as an AI engineer, you're going to use your programming skills together with AI tools. And you're going to use this in order to enhance and develop new AI systems and applications. So there are two paths here, right? The first one is a shallower one. With this, you're just going to leverage existing AI tools and models so you can pretty much just prompt engineer your way into it. Now, with the levels of abstraction that we have, many can just create a career quite easily. You can just leverage existing cloud services and existing APIs. You can use language model integration frameworks like Langchain and you can keep away from the intricacies of deep learning. There's a technical level still that you're going to need to have, but it's a lot easier because you're just going to be tangential to the low level aspects but you're still going to be able to do good work. The second path is a lot deeper right and it requires a lot more time and dedication because this one requires a deeper understanding of multiple things and these are on top of programming knowledge and on top of software development best practices and the first one is statistics, the second is machine learning and the third is deep learning. But both paths start from the same point, and that is learning programming and understanding how to build software. So let's go through what you need to learn step by step. If you're starting from zero, then the first weeks are going to be the hardest because you're going to need to start with the computer science fundamentals and you need to start thinking like a programmer. If you don't have a CS degree, you don't have to worry about it because you don't really need one because there are so many free resources out there that you can just get started relatively quickly. One resource that I see people recommend is Khan Academy and their courses. The thing is that once you understand this, you got to get into learning a programming language and Python is currently the most popular language for AI and it's relatively simple to get started with it's flexible and it has a whole bunch of libraries that you can leverage. So my recommendation is to learn Python as soon as you understand the fundamentals of computer science. To learn Python, you're going to need to start with simple concepts that are the foundation to everything. You need to start with strings, numbers and booleans. You need to look at string operations and methods. You need to understand string immutability and advanced formatting. Next are data structures. You need to understand lists, dictionaries, tuples and sets. You need to understand how they work and you need to get into their individual particularities. And I have a detailed video on how to learn Python so I won't cover everything here but definitely check it out after this video. I'm going to link it at the end so you have a complete roadmap to learn Python. But the main points that you're going to need to focus on are the top Python libraries that you need to get comfortable with. So cover these ones in detail so you know exactly what you can leverage when you actually need it. Now that you're comfortable with Python, you can dive deep into data science and AI specific Python libraries. But first you need to start with pandas and numpy. And the reason why you need to start with this is because you need to learn exploratory data analysis. This is going to pave the way for AI specific libraries such as TensorFlow and PyTorch. For AI, you might again just use Langchain and directly use APIs in order to interact with large language models. Or you can just use open source LLMs through Hugging Face. You're going to need to learn about all of these, but in order to do so, you're going to need to start with APIs. RESTful APIs and HTTP methods such as GET, POST, PUT and DELETE. You got to look into the structure of an API request and the structure of a response. You got to work with Postman, it's going to definitely help you a lot. You also need to learn how to work with JSON data and how to send authenticated requests. You need to spend as much time as you need here and you can start by using APIs such as OpenAI's API. Working with this is going to give you the ability to start working on your own projects where you can actually leverage some data from any data provider. As I was mentioning here, now's the time to learn how to work with Hugging Face and Langchain. It's nothing complicated here because by now you're going to have so much knowledge that adding these to your skill set is going to be super easy. The next step is to put it all together. You know ops is the keyword for everything. You get DevOps, you get MLOps, you get FMOps, you get LLMOps and you get so many ops. All of these are very very important because you're going to know how to put machine learning models or large language models into production. As you already learned about APIs, now you can start looking into FastAPI, Docker, Kubernetes and you can start looking into cloud services that you can use. 
I'm personally using Azure and the majority of the work that I'm doing these days involves Azure services from AI search, Azure OpenAI, function apps, document intelligence, and a lot more. And there are so many things to cover here. And I'm going to make a separate video on the Azure landscape and what you can use as an AI engineer. You can also check out my other videos in which I cover how to build AI applications and how to build an AI chatbot on Azure. Also, if you're already on your cloud engineering path, you can check out getthatbash.com, a learning platform that helps you prepare for cloud certification exams. It's currently in beta and we offer both practice exams and AI assistance to help you learn faster. Check it out as I'd love your feedback. Our badge. goal is to help you achieve your goals. If I would start all over again and I would learn AI, I would always start by working on real projects because everything that I mentioned in this video means nothing if you don't work on a project or on multiple projects while you're actually learning because it makes no sense just going through tutorials and through documentation just for the sake of it. Everything that I covered needs to be learned by practicing because it's very easy for me to come and say that you need to learn math for AI or statistics because these are broad domains and you're going to need to learn narrow areas that are needed, of course, depending on what you're actually working on. So first decide why you want to become an AI engineer. What are you trying to build? You might not necessarily need Docker. You might not necessarily need Kubernetes. You might not necessarily need LangChain. So learning them just for the sake of learning won't be too helpful, but being aware of them and why they might be useful, you definitely need to understand that. But otherwise, just stick to the core. Learn Python properly. Learn how to work with core packages. Learn how to work with APIs. Then learn how a full MLOps lifecycle looks like. All of the steps in the pipeline from data ingestion, processing data, version control, and of course, many others. These are the basics because you cannot really be an AI engineer without these fundamentals. Also keep in mind that learning effectively is about balance. Spend less time watching tutorials and more time implementing what you're actually learning. You gotta stay motivated and you gotta keep pushing forward. It's gonna take you more than you initially think and that's pretty much okay because it's a marathon, it's not a sprint. That's why you gotta keep pushing forward.